This one's for Eric Weinstein, who asks for more details about the distinctions between service, function and capability. Now, the way I describe it is that what we want is a definition of service that works at any scope, any scale, any level, anywhere, any type of content. It needs to be completely consistent. That means it's going to differ slightly from the way that other people use it, but at least we know it's going to be the same everywhere. <coughs> So the service elements, the things that make up a service, we define as asset, function, capability, which itself is made up of agents, assets and skills, the location, the events and decisions that relate to that service. So on the surface, a service and a function look much the same because the function is the interface to that service and the service level agreement template it's a black box, if you like. It's a black box view of the service. So it's a template that specifies <coughs> the SLA part. It's a template that specifies what needs to be in the SLA, but not the detail. It can't do. It's just a template. A capability is the ability to do something. The thing that makes up does, that does the actual work of the service, and itself is often made up of services and assets. So it's a white box view. We look inside the service to see what the actual service is made up of. So the service packs together all of these elements together with a specific service level definition based on the capabilities that it has behind it. So for example, if we're sorting the mail, the capability, the service can be delivered by any combination of people, machines and some types of IT. But the level that we can deliver at varies according to what the capability is behind that service. So it packs together all of these different elements, the function, the capability and so on. So a process, which is another term that people look for, is just a sequence of services chained together. They may be chained together in a predefined sequence. They may be defined in a kind of ad hoc way. But a process is just a chaining together of services to a common kind of purpose. And in a sense, a process is also a kind of service, an encapsulation of service. So the boundary of what is a service is what we say it is. That's one of the complications. There isn't a predefined definition of what service is. It's what we say it is. So the service elements are asset, function, capability, location, event, and decision. A function is the interface and a kind of black box view of the service. So at the outside it looks much the same as the service itself. The capability is what the service can do underneath. It's inside the box of the service. The service packs together all of the elements and a process is a way in which we link together services to a common need or a common aim.